Welcome back, Mr. Hall here again with our third video in Inventor. So here I'm sitting with my rectangular prism that we've created. And now what I want to do is I want to add something to this. To add something, you can use the extrude button again. And just like the last time we did an extrude, and just like every time you do something new, you need to start by creating a new sketch. Now, watch what happens when I create a new sketch over here in the browser. When I create a new sketch, I'm going to create something on the top of my prism. I click on the top here, and it automatically creates sketch 2. Every sketch should go with an extrusion. So I'm going to create a sketch, and then I'm going to create an extrusion. I should never finish the sketch and leave the sketch blank. I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I finish the sketch and then create another sketch right here, now I have sketch two and sketch three. I do not want two unnecessary sketches. Every sketch needs to go with a feature. So if you happen to do that, I'm going to fix it by going finish sketch and I'm going to right click on sketch three and delete it. Well, Mr. Hall, how do I go back and fix sketch two now that I do, now that I uh, got rid of that one I don't need? Well, just like we talked about in the last video, you go over to sketch two, right click, and edit sketch. So now we can edit that sketch so we can use it to make a feature. On the top of my box, I would like to add a circular platform of some kind. So I'm going to create a circle by using the circle button underneath sketch. I'm going to move my mouse wherever I want to go. Click. Don't hold down, just click. And then move your mouse. And you can move your mouse and make it as big or as small as you want. And if you want to, right off the bat, if you just want to enter a number before you click again, you can enter 2 and hit enter. And there is my circle a two inch diameter circle. Perfect. I'm ready to extrude that. That's good enough for me. So I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude. Now, before when you did extrude, it automatically picked the rectangle for you. Now, since there are a couple of different shapes, you have to tell it what do you want to extrude. I just want to add the circle, so I'm going to go in and make sure that the circle is highlighted. So I click on highlight over or hover over the circle, and then I click, and it makes that extrusion. I only want that to be 0.5 inches tall, just to make it so it's easy to see, and then I hit enter. So now I have a rectangle with a circle on top. The other thing the extrude button feature can be used for is to make cuts into whatever you have. So I'm going to do, again, start new sketch, and I'm going to make another extrusion in the side here and cut a shape through the side. What I want to do now is create my own shape. So you can either draw that shape using the line feature, or you could go in underneath the rectangle tool and go to polygon and create a two or three or four sided polygon or whatever, six sided, whatever you want. Okay, so I'll show you both. I'm gonna click on polygon first and I'm gonna change that to a five sided polygon. You have to change the number first. So I'm gonna change that to five and I'm gonna go in here and click and make my five sided polygon. I'll make it just like this. Good enough. Right click, hit OK. You right click and hit OK to finish your tool. Now this polygon is not selected anymore. I also am going to show you how to draw another shape. So I'm going to click on the line and I'm just going to draw a house just to make something up. So like this, line straight up, click and then move your mouse and then click and then move your mouse and then click and then move your mouse. And click, move your mouse, click. This whole time I'm never holding down, I'm just clicking and then moving my mouse. And to go back, I'm going to click. There's a little house. Let's draw a little door on there just for fun. 
and there's my house. Right click, hit OK. I've got two shapes exactly how I want them. If I wanted to locate them specifically somewhere on this rectangle, I would go to the dimension tool and I would click the left side here and click the center of my polygon and then move my mouse and I could make that a half an inch from the edge if I want to. So it changes it like that. If I wanted to make my house a certain distance from the bottom, I could do that and make it 0.125 just for fun. So there are some options for you. All right, I'm ready to cut these out. So I'm going to go finish sketch. And the next step is going to be to, again, do the extrude. So I click extrude, except this time when I do the extrude, instead of doing, instead of using this button right here, the join, I click the middle one, which is cut. And when I click that, it will cut away whatever shape I select. So I click cut. And then I have to go back here and click on this profile button to select the profiles that I want to cut out. So once I click that, those two buttons, then I am set to choose what I want to cut out. I'm going to cut out the polygon. And right now it's only extruding a half an inch. So you can see that it only goes in this far. And I'm going to cut out, I'll just do the outside of the house. Because I drew this uh, rectangle in there, it select it won't select that unless or it won't cut that out unless I select it. So I'll select both the outside and the door. So the door won't really show up, but that's okay. We're gonna cut, and instead of choosing a distance this time, I'm gonna say distance. I'm gonna make it all, and we're gonna cut all the way through. So it cuts all the way through that part. And then when I hit OK, I now have two holes in the side of my part. So I've shown you how to make an extrusion adding another piece on to an existing piece. And I've shown you an extrusion cutting holes into an existing piece. With each extrusion, I only have the extrusions on the left here that I need. I don't have anything extra in my browser. So I have extrusion 1, which is that rectangle. Extrusion 2, which is the circular extrusion. And extrusion 3, which are my holes. And again, underneath those extrusions, if I click the plus, are my sketches. So I have a sketch to match every extrusion and nothing extra. And that is part three of our review session.